Have you ever wondered how the world of basketball and volleyball works? Well, if you're someone who isn't into sports like me, but watches basketball and volleyball games, then we have to know the basics. Okay, now let's start with the teams on offense and defense. So the team on the offense is the team with the basketball, while the team on the defense is the team without the basketball. Now, here are some rules for the offense team. Okay, so firstly, the player must bounce or dribble the ball with one hand while moving two feet. If, at any time, both hands touch the ball or the player stops dribbling, the player must only move on one foot. The foot that is stationary is called the pivot foot. Next, the player can only take one turn in dribbling. In other words, once you stop dribbling, he cannot start another dribble. A player who starts dribbling again is called for double dribbling violation and loses the basketball to another team. A player can only start another dribble after another player from the either team touches or gains control of the basketball. Then, the player's hand must be on top of the ball while dribbling. If they touch the bottom of the ball while dribbling and continue to dribble, this is called carrying the ball and the player will lose the, the ball to the other team. And lastly, once the offensive team crosses half court, they may not go back into the backcourt. This is called a backcourt violation. And if the defensive team knocks the ball into the backcourt, then the offensive team can recover the ball legally. So that's how the offensive team works. Now, let's move on with the defensive team. The only main rule here is not to foul. So what is a foul? A foul is described as gaining an unfair advantage through physical contact. In general, the defensive player may not touch the offensive player in a way that the offensive player may lose the ball or miss a shot. Now, if there are rules for the offensive and defensive team, there is also a rule for everyone. Although the foul rule is described above as a defensive rule, it applies exactly the same to all players on the court including offensive players. You must not kick the ball or hit it with your fist. And no player can touch the basketball while it is traveling downwards towards the basket or if it is on the rim. This is called goaltending, but sometimes touching the ball in the rim is legal in some games. And to complete the basics, every player on the court is subjected of the position they play. The positions in the basketball are just for the team basketball strategy and there are no position in rules. And that finishes the basics on basketball. Now let's move on to volleyball. Let me present to you Hannah, Sherry, and Aizen to explain the basic rules and regulations. First, in this sport, there are six players on a team, three in the front row, and another three at the back. They rotate clockwise every time the team wins back service from the opposition. The three players at the front can jump, spike, or block near the net. The backcourt players can only hit the ball over the net if they jump from behind the attack line, also known as the three-meter line which separates the front and back part of the court. Since 1998, volleyball has been using a new scoring system, known as the rally point system. Teams scored a point on every rally regardless of which team served. Formerly, a team could only win a point if it served the ball. Winning the serve back from the opposition was known as a side out. These are the basics of volleyball, and once you understand how it works, there's nothing to worry about when playing. We can now watch volleyball and basketball games without any more trouble. There might be more to these sports, but it's important to understand the basics first before going in deeper. Understanding the basics is good enough to give you a highlight on how the sport works. <laughs>